في البيدياتكس اسمها sudden infant death syndrome دكتور سيد نعم I would like to tell you something why you are not starting with a question for me like what do you know about blah 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 to make it more interactive ما عاد الاسلوب انا عاد اللي حد بس باخذ نقطتك بال انا دائما ابدا بالكيس اوكي فور شور يو دكتور اتس اب تو يو انا ابريشيت ات ثانك يو سو ماتش اتس اول ريسبكت لا بس لانه في الغالب انا 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 اللي انا قد جربت انا ما ماني انا اول مره ادرس انا قد جربت انه اعطي اسال للطلاب عن الـ عن الـ عن الديفينيشن في الغالب ما يعرف الا واحد او اثنين يعني فام ام ادابتنج انذر واي اوف جيفنج ا كيس ذات يو تو تراي تو ثينك اباوت ات بعدين انا اشرح الاشياء اللي اي دونت اكسبكت يو تو نو في اذر ثينجز اي وود اكسبكت يو تو نو اي وود اسك اباوت ات واضح Okay, we have a three-month-old boy is discovered not breathing in his crib this morning. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation was begun by the parents and was continued by paramedics en route to the hospital. You continue to try to, re- to revive the child in the emergency center, but pronounce him dead after 20 minutes of resuscitation. You review the history with the family and examine the child, but you are unable to detect the cause of death. How should you manage the situation in the emergency department? And what is the most likely diagnosis? I think we'll see like this situation. I mean, we don't want to say it in a lot, but we'll see it. Here we have one infant, a child. The people say that we've seen him dead. Oh, this is a child. Infant dead. 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 So if you were in the emergency department, how would you, or how should you manage it? Starting with ABC? Already, child, you try to do a CPR, 20 minutes, no return of pulse, and you announced him dead. In this case, like forensic examination is required. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. Would you need to file police? Pardon? Would you notify the police department? Honestly, I don't know. When, what, what, what would you think is the most likely diagnosis? Sudden infant death syndrome. <laughs> this <laughs> idea is <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Bye. Can I talk about the concepts of pediatrics? Because they are all related to the SID definition. So the first thing is the apnea. So an apnea is defined as the cessation of airflow and lymphatic flow. Airflow. due to either lack of respiratory effort, okay, or upper airway obstruction. Apnea, which is the stop of the air. By definition, no, ما فو ما ما يكون فيه هواء قاعد يطلع عن طريق مجرى الهواء. لأنه في تفصيلين لها. يا ما أو قسمين لها. يا ما تكون central apnea أو obstructive apnea. The central apnea may confess on lack of respiratory effort. They're not initiating the breath. Central apnea because of a CNS issue. The breathing center is not working. So they're not breathing at all. Other cause, I can say on upper area obstruction. You don't see a flow, but it is obstructive apnea. You will see an effort to breathe. But they, they cannot move the air in and out. Apneas, okay? The central apnea lasting less than 10 seconds is common in healthy infants. 
and can be present in normal children during sleep. It has to be longer than 15 to 20 seconds, okay? Or at any period associated with desaturation. Then normal breathing little babies, not like the adults or the older children. It's rhythmic, but it's slow. It breathes, it stops for three, four, five seconds. It breathes, it stops for three, four, five seconds. It breathes. No. أحيانا ممكن يوقفون 10 seconds بدون أي نفس بعدين ياخذ خمسة أو ست breaths بعدين يوقف مرة ثانية. As long as no is not is not longer than 15 seconds the pause هذا and not associated with desaturation ما يقلب عندهم مستوى الأكسجين في الدم it is not an apnea this is a normal uh, breathing. Doctor, I would like to tell something. Uh... And the etiology or the inter intrinsic factor regarding the uh, sudden infant death syndrome, brain stem disorder. Probably the respiratory centers. We'll come on. We'll come to it. Kishin sent me breath holding spells. It's not apnea, okay? But it is a form of apnea, but it's not true apnea, okay? This is a behavioral uh, manifestation. So occurring when a young child, for example, a toddler, okay? Maybe between two to three, preschools at, at times, so I can go between two to five, usually. When they are awake, usually triggered by emotional stress. أي شيء يضايقهم يخليهم يبكون مثلا يخلي عندهم هذا ال behavior اللي هو breath holding that they often follow a sustained exhalation so can be associated with cyanosis and loss of consciousness that is quite alarming but بعدها بيصير عندهم return of spontaneous breathing very quickly فتلقى معصب الولد يطلع النفس بعدين يوقف عن النفس يزرق يفقد الوعي Most breath holding spells are benign and listen over time. So, for example, we don't do anything. We know that this breath holding spell comes with the book, with the thing that the child, even if he has cyanosis, even if he has lost consciousness, even if he has returned, we say that this is just something behavioral. And with time, if the child is older, he loses consciousness. But it's important to know that seizures and disorders of central respiratory control should be considered. We're doing a basic workup, EEG, MRI, we're doing a sleep study. But so we can prove that there's no other reason for them to have this episode. If the initial investigation is normal, we will call it a breath-holding spell. Now we're going to the sets. So, sudden infant death. So, the unexpected death of an infant younger than one year, then an infant, okay, younger than one year of age, in which the cause remains unexplained after autopsy, death scene investigation, and review of clinical history. So, the most common cause of death in infants between the age of one week and one year. Is SIDS. The majority of SIDS deaths occurs between two to and four months of age. It is rare before four weeks or after six months. The peak had getter between two to four months. The scale definition it can be it can happen any time during the first year. It's more common in winter, and the risk is increased three to five times in siblings of infants who have died of SIDS. Which suggests probably maybe genetic involvement. Risk factors for SIDS: prone sleep position. If the child is sleeping on his back, then it's possible that he will be next to the bed and he will die. Especially babies between two to four months, they can't even sleep. So when they sleep, they can't even sleep. They can't even move their head. So it's possible that they will die.
Prematurity and or low birth weight is a risk factor. Male gender, we don't know why. Sleeping on a soft service, نفس الشيء. Sleeping on soft service. احتمالية إنه service لأنه soft يغطي مجرى الهواء أكبر. Bed sharing. Bed sharing معناته إنه الأب أو الأم ينامون في نفس السرير مع الطفل. يعني ممكن يقلبون عليه ويكتمونه. Pre and postnatal exposure to tobacco, tobacco smoke. سواء so, من الام او الـ او الاب اوفر هيتنج في الغرفه الغرفه تكون حاره ليت اور نو بري نيتال كير ان يانج ماتيرنال ايج كل هذه الريسك فاكتورز بريفنشن طبعا كل كل الجهود انها هاو تو بريفنت سيلز اول بيرنتس شود بي انستركتد تو بليس ذير انفنتس ان ذا سوبين بوزيشن ويتش مينز اون ذير باكس جست اب اول لوز Soft bedding should be excluded from the sleep space. في الغالب بس الماترس كفاية بالنسبة للطفل. ما نحط معه وسائد، ما نحط معه دمى، ما نحط معه بلانكت. أي شيء ممكن إنها تتحرك وتغطي مجرى الهواء المفروض ما تكون موجودة في sleep space للإنفنت. No bed sharing with the infant. ما حد ينام في نفس السرير. ففي الغالب اللي يصير أحيانا الناب. يمكن الاهل ينومون الطفل في سريره لكن احيانا وقت الناب تكون الام جالسه جنب الطفل او ترضعه وتخليه ينام معها في نفس السرير. فذيس از ريسك فاكتور. كونسلنج فور سيزيشن اوف ماتيرنال سيجريت سموكينج. بريست فيدينج، باسيفاير يوز، اند شيرينج ا روم ان سيبريت بيدز هاف بين ايدينتيفايد از بروتكتيف. شيرينج ا روم معناته ينامون مع الطفل في نفس الغرفه بس في سرير مختلف. از ا بروتكتيف. في انتيتي ثانيه في الاطفال نسميها بريف ريزولفد ان اكسبلايند ايفنت بروي اختصارها من الاسم اتس ا بريف ريزولف يعني سبونتينيوسلي ريزولفينج ان ان اكسبلايند ايفنت ف بريف اتس از ليس ذان 1 مينيت سيلف ليميتد شكل ريزولفد وذ 1 اور مور اوف ذا فولوينج فيتشرز يا اما انه يصير عندهم سينوسيس اور بالر Absent, اللي هو apnea or irregular breathing, change in tone, يعني مثلاً hypertonic or hypotonic, or altered level of responsiveness in an infant less than one year of age. هذه كلها نسميها بروي. الحين مثلاً الأهل يجونك يقولون والله ولدنا فجأة زرق. ليش ما ندري؟ طيب كم مدتها؟ عشر ثواني. طيب بعدها؟ راحت اختفت تماما فهذه لست اون مينت سيلف ليميتد سينوسيس هذه نسميها بروي اول ما ندخلها نقول ان هي هاز بروي هيستوري اند اكزام شود فوكس اون ذا موست كومن ايدنتيفايبل كوزز اوف ابنورمال بريثنج ابيسودز ان انفنسي انكلودنج الجاسترو اسفيجال ريفلكس ديزيز ويتش ماي بريزنت از سيميلر بريزنتيشن سينس باثولوجي سيجرز انتركرينال بليدنج انفكشنز لأن نفس الشيء الـ RSV بنناقش طبعا الـ infections هذه في الـ respiratory lecture pertussis or other serious bacterial infections could present similarly cardiovascular events خاصة الـ arrhythmias أو الـ metabolic derangements فعلى حسب الـ history على حسب وصفهم للأهل ما نبغى نخل في التفاصيل نسوي initial workup على وش الأشياء اللي نتوقع أنها ممكن تكون uh, as an, uh, a cause for this event. أحيانا نوصل diagnosis نكتشف أنها مثلا أريذمية أو نكتشف أنها reflux فيكون أول admission لهم admission they have a brewery بس بعدين نكتشف أنه كان بسبب gastroesophageal reflux disease أو brewery because of seizures وأحيانا ما نقدر ما نلقى تشخيص ونطلعهم على أنهم بس brewery we never reach the diagnosis or identifiable cause uh, and that's it uh, we will tell the parents that despite everyone's best efforts their son has died and we'll ask them that if they would like to call a friend or a family member or anything, anyone to support them we should give them a room because this is a hard for the family. 
What is the most likely diagnosis? SIDS is the most likely diagnosis, assuming that the parent's story is true. But homicide must be considered as well as the possibility of an underlying congenital or metabolic disorder. Yet with that situation, على حسب ما في اكيد جايد لاينز احنا عندنا في السعوديه and what to do next. احنا للاسف في السعوديه uh, unless if you really suspect uh, something wrong you would ask for autopsy بس ما في كل الحالات. احيانا اذا كان في عندك شك you would ask the police department to be involved and they would run their investigations وهم يقررون if an autopsy is needed ولا لا. في North America any case of SIDS should or must have an autopsy. بس عندنا لا الحالة مختلفة في السعودية. طيب let's take some questions. Which of the following infants must warrant home cardiorespiratory monitoring? هنا ما حطيت poll فإذا فضلا تجاوبوني على ال على الشات اكتبوا لي الحرف الحرف اللي تتوقعوا انه صحيح. طبعا ذي ماست يمكن بعضهم يحتاجون بس ما هو ذي ماست. And the doctor, by default, it's all the answer is correct. Hey, I think I'm the most. It could be D, doctor. It is D. طبعا ال أنا أقرأ with اللي حطوا E يعني. But إنه لأن عندنا خيار D, D warrants it more. لأن premature or he has recurrent apnea and bradycardia. That he really at risk. طبعا the healthy term infant whose older sibling dies died of SIDS. Yeah, that's the most likely case. 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 That's the most So a pregnant woman comes to you for a prenatal visit. As a family pediatrician, you, your advice to her should include which of the following statements about reducing the risk of SIDS. Unfold how you can do them, Sahih. Supine position and the tobacco is the most A. It's the most likely answer. Good. Which of the following statements about SIDS is accurate?
D. D or B? I am torn in between you, Doctor. Nama pot are correct. Yes. So it is, it is D. So actually, studies didn't show that the home monitoring reduces the risk. The investigation for an unexpected infant death includes a history, post-mortem examination, and which of the following? D. as it is, could be homicide, D, most likely. I did yes, so it could be a homicide, that's true. So a death scene investigation should be carried on as well. Right. That's it for the today's tutorials. أتمنى أنها كانت خفيفة. ال بالنسبة لبكرة أتمنى بكرة بنبدأ الساعة تسعة بال ما هو الساعة ثمانية. Okay. هل واضح الكل؟ الجروب الأول تسعة دكتور يبدأ الثاني متى يبدأ صح أنت الجروبين خلينا نقول أو تدري برسل الجروب ليدر درس الجروب ليدر يبلغ الجروب الثاني متى نبدا؟ انا الجروب ليدر دكتور خلاص انا بجي انا بجي الساعه 9 اوكي لا لا مو بلازم تبتدي انا انا برسل لك مسج اليوم ان شاء الله عشان ابلغك تمام ايه دكتور هاو واز يور فيدباك؟ لحظه عادل بعدها عندك محاضرات اونلاين متى بعدها؟ قصدك بعد الظهر ولا؟ ايه بعد الظهر محاضرات ايه لا لا طبعا ما ما اتوقع راح نطول يعني دون وري I got a question doctor هلا تفضل I have read that they in terms they said their prevention breastfeeding and immunization schedule is that correct? breastfeeding yes it is correct immunization I'm not sure ما ادري Okay, gotcha. Okay. And the other question, what's the relationship between the SIDS and the winter center? And what? Winter, the season winter, yeah? We say the winter season. Eh, ma adri, because they're 
في تمبرتشر <تصفيق> لا صدق لا مو مو نفس التمبرتشر لا هل هو بسبب انهم they uh, over cover the children اوكي بس لا ما ادري اوكي ثانك يو سو ماتش دكتور